Hello, Internet. So, yeah, Plus and Live deals for the week of May 13th, 2014. Where we look at the PlayStation Plus deals, look at what's free, what's discounted, and compare and contrast it with Xbox Live gold deals and what's free and discounted. And, you know, there's been a shakeup in the uh, games with gold. Where. Well, I guess not yet, but, you know, going forward, like June 9th or whatever, uh, it'll work kind of the same as the uh, instant game collection where it's like, you know, it's free w with your duration of your subscription, so I would get into that more, but that's not really the topic of this video, so let's get to the store to talk about the discounts and whatnot. I mean, because, you know, it's like, on paper it's a good idea, but, you know, after having so many games racked up with my plus subscription, it's like, dude, when I drop gold, I will just not care, because it's like, well, the games I have are tied to my account, and the games that I'm going to be getting will just whatever, so. Because <laughs> I have less time on my live than, or like my, my time on live is like running out, so for gold, so. The stuff, I, the stuff I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be too sad about, because so, it's like I'd have to re-up my subscription to get more stuff, but it's not going to be worth it because my plus subscription has already basically done what it would have done, or, what, or my plus subscription has done what, what my gold subscription would have did, so it, yeah, solves that issue. I think Skullgirls is, yep, Skullgirls Encore is the free game this week. Uh, so I'll be finally getting able to be able to check that out. And I did, well I haven't downloaded uh, Pro Evolution Soccer, but I did go ahead and get it because I'm, yeah, like I mentioned last time, even if a game's like free and I don't really care for it, like Pixel Junk Monsters, I'll like, I'll just go ahead and be like, whatever dude's free, so. <laughs> so you can't, can't, well you can say no to a free game, but I don't say no to a free game, so. Huh. And discounts, I have no idea what's on sale this week, so let's find out. Uh, Serious Sam 3, Hitman Trilogy. Some Spartacus legend stuff. I believe that's a free-to-play game. So this is all just microtransaction stuff. The coins and whatnot. Does 514, which I believe is like ending support. Who knows when. Um, but yeah, coming to an end eventually. Oh man, I'm totally going to get this DC Universe stuff because I wanted to... Uh, what's in the Ultimate Edition? I don't think it has everything, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I did want to get all the deal... I think that there's like one a Wonder Woman one coming out, but I haven't picked up this one and the Flash one. I, I guess I do. Have the, maybe I do I have the Green Lantern one? I don't know. But yeah. Uh, what's in this one? Let's see. This has the four DLC packs. Batman, Harley Quinn. Da, 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 da. Whoa, this is 20 gigabytes. That's... Wait a minute. Oh, wait, never mind. That says before you can download the game. Yeah, DC Universe Online, I have a video of it on my channel. That game is a ridiculous, massive download that takes a long time. But uh, I'm not really sure what's in the Ultimate Edition here. Is it everything? Hmm. Four DLC packs. So I'm guessing it's the first four. And then the ones after that are not in this one, obviously. What should say on here, actually? This is the, um... To add, like if I go to add-ons, right? Oh wait, no, this isn't the page for DC Universe Online. Oh, here we go. So if I go to add-ons, it should be the first four. Wow, there's 15? Hmm. Oh yeah, the, yeah here's the Wonder, Wonder Woman one that just came out. But, um... Oh, it's numbered. So yeah, I guess one through four, so... Fight for the Light, which is Green Lantern. Lightning Strikes, which is The Flash. Uh, The Last Laugh, with Joker. It's number three. I did not see number three on there. Three. <laughs> uh, I have not played this game in a long time. But it is pretty. Oh, let's try this Batman one. Yeah, Battle for Earth. Okay. But yeah, they keep. You know, this game has been out for a long time, and they still support it. So it's totally, in my opinion, you can get the free version, and it's just like it's like the base version of the game without any of the add-on stuff, and it's free. And it's, it's pretty fun time. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I went back too far. Back to their stuff that's discounted. Um, do 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 do. Dead or Alive Five Ultimate stuff. More Dead or Alive Five Ultimate stuff, and more Dead or Alive Five Ultimate stuff. Titan attacks. Wolfen Wolf Wolfenstein or Wolfenstein, however you want to pronounce that. The New Order. 
and how chat's got a complete collection. That's and now I'll just go to what's on sale for the week for everybody, not just plus members. And we have Ooh, screen excel. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny I saw it thinking, oh Final Fantasy, but there's there's lightning returns, twenty five bucks. Eh. I haven't played it. I'm not I'm not too big on thirteen, so I didn't pick up thirteen too. I'm not gonna miss Lightning, lightning, bleh, lightning returns because I will not be checking that out for that price. Uh, bureau, twenty bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Oh, Mass Effect. You know, I'm gonna see, say that every time I see it. So you know, thirty bucks gets you the trilogy. Totally worth it. Actually, that was on sale last week, but whatever. Anyway, uh, we have Thief for forty. Enchanted, Enchanted Cavern, two bucks. Farm frenzy stuff. <laughs> Hotel Mogul, Snowy the Bear's Adventure, um, Tomb Raider Digital Edition. You already said Fall Fantasy because I looked at the well, Fall Fantasy Hitman. I think those were all the stuff in the yeah Hitman, the Final Fantasy, and Tomb Raider were the screen Excel stuff. Burger Time World Tour, The Sky, Hour of Darkness, Odin Sphere, DJ Max Portable Three. Dynasty Warriors 8. Some stuff I already talked about from Dust and Dead Alive. The Walking Dead Survival. Oh, Before I finish that, <laughs> the name of that game, that's the one I don't talk about because you should be playing Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1, Season 2, or 400 Days. Just, ah. Oh. And the Episode 3 came out today, it was brutal. It was just, ah, oh, so good. And, well,. It wasn't, okay, it was good because, it, like, every episode is good, but, like, as far as, like, you know, versus the other two episodes, I'd say it's probably the weakest of the three, but it was still, like, just, ah, uh, ah, uh, just get you right there in that spot that their games do. But, yeah, um, R.I.P.D. the game, three bucks. It's only three bucks, dude. Class of Heroes, five bucks. Oh, dude, Atlas Games, five bucks. I'm totally going to buy all these. This, like, I, I know I say that every time these games are on sale, but they, this is the cheapest I've seen them. Like, usually they're, like, seven fifty or something. Now they're all five bucks. Like at at five dollars, I cannot not buy them. So, well, the ones I don't have already. I already have Persona and Persona Two, but uh, I don't think I have Persona Three Portable, so I totally want to pick that up. And yeah, Clouds of Heroes, Crimson, Gym Saga, Growl Answer, Wayfarer of Time. I picked it up. Gunganir, I enjoyed that game. Hex's Force, Kinko, Kinka, Bancho, Badass Rumble, bleh, Badass Rumble, Nights in the Nightmare. Riviera, The Promised Land, uh, Persona, Persona 2, Persona 3 Fez, Sorc there's <laughs> Sorcery Saga, Curse of the Great Curry God, uh, Strikers 1945+, plus, Yggdra, Union, The Treasures of Montezuma, F1 Race Stars, Mahjong Royal Towers, and Mahjong World Contest, Soul Sacrifice, Delta, Limited Edition, um, Tales, Grace, Tales of Grace's F plus Tales of Zillia. That's interesting, because they had Tales of Zillia for like 20 bucks, because that's what I picked it up for, so I'm not... Hmm, I guess we'll wait and see if T Tales of Grace's F ever goes on Zol 4. However, I'm not sure if like Tales of Grace is any good. I picked up Zillia because I heard it was pretty good, and then, you know, I haven't played any of the Tales games, so I should probably do that before I buy any more, and I get saddled with a bunch of games I don't want to play, so yeah. Dishonored for 20, Fuse for 20, Mass Effect Trilogy, I believe, was 30. Totally buy it, because it's worth it. Biased opinion, whatever. Uh, the Bureau of XCOM Declassified for 20, I'd say it's worth it. It's, I, 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 whatever. I had some qualms with it. I'm sure if I go back, I will be able to play it and have a good time. But for 20 bucks, dude, totally. Like, that's, that's like, you know, impulse buy territory. Time and Eternity, Splinter Cell Blacklist for 30 pretty good. It'll, it'll probably go cheaper, but, you know, if you're dying to play it, totally worth it. I, I enjoyed it. And the Ultimate Edition for $34.99. Some, some Just Dance add-on stuff. $1.99, $1.99. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the rundown on PSN cells on the PSN store this week. And, uh, yeah. Gonna come back on the other side of this video with uh... Xbox Live Gold on Xbox 360 stuff, and and apparently I guess Microsoft also said that they were gonna like change the well not change but they would be having more 
uh, deep discounts on their on their games as well. So yay, competition. So apparently, Sony being all awesome and everything with the PSN has led to Microsoft being like, okay, well we can do that too. So yeah, let's see if there's anything this week. Probably not. I I, I bet not until the ninth. Is there going to be awesome stuff? Because man, they had like the flash sales for like there's like the dollar for thirty games thing, and then there's like the the five dollar games that one time with like. Uh, Candle Lynch 2 is on there. There's some other stuff. Whatever. There's like two flash sales recently where they're like really awesome deals. But yeah. That's it for this part of the video. I'm going to come back on the other side with uh, Xbox Live Gold deals. Like I said. After this. Alright. We're back. Xbox 360. Xbox Live Gold. But before we start. Oh look at this. It says changes to Xbox Live Gold. Let's, let's see what this says. Oh also. No connect Xbox One 80. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, I'll stop there. I'll stop. Too too easy of a target. Uh, all I will not beat that dead horse. I mean, I've I've, just, I've seen that dead horse just strung along all through the internet today. It's just terrible. My Twitter feed's blown up. YouTube is blown up. But oh, look, anyway, topic at hand: Xbox Live Gold. Do 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 do. Games with gold will be coming Xbox One. Oh, so, you know, a single gold membership will get you free games on both Xbox One and 360. So I guess that means, you know, if you don't get Xbox One, and you have Xbox Live Gold, you're not going to get those Xbox Gold games. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to get any. Maybe I will. You know, I'd, I'd imagine there's a, a web interface a la uh, Sony Entertainment Network that you could just, you know, type, 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 type it in and be like, oh, look at this, I'm on my Xbox Live account, and just, oh, I want to click this and purchase this. I guess, I guess I'll see and find out. Plus, we're introducing deals with gold for Xbox One, which gives members exclusive discounts on games and content in the Xbox Store. Also, all Xbox 360 and Xbox One owners will get access to popular entertainment apps like Netflix, YouTube, Machinima, and more on Xbox without needing an Xbox Live Gold membership. This means that everyone can enjoy the amazing gaming, TV, and internet experiences that Xbox has offered right out of the box. So there you go. Very uh, feature parody with PlayStation Network now, so you know. I, I, I was totally, you know, one of, one of the reasons I've been doing this series, I mean, I mean I've just been like, dude, like, I don't care say, I mean, no offense to you, but uh, you're wrong. Plus, all the way over gold, and now it's like, oh, well, now that, now that, the, now the field is settled, or the field is even, I mean, that, yeah, wow, words, the field is even, uh, the battle shall begin anew. But yeah, just at least you until the first free game. I actually didn't say on the, um... The thingy that it, well, I guess they don't don't change it until like the ninth of uh, June, but it didn't say like you know when that's gonna start the uh, the new policies that they put in place. There's no date on here. Do 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 do. But yeah, there's a, there's a URL Xbox.com/slash livefac. So yeah. Uh, I'm glad they took down the paywall though. That was pretty lame i would say like that was definitely another reason i was like dude when i have gold when i'm not when my gold runs out i'm totally not renewing it because it's like i can use it on i can use netflix or amazon instant video or what have you on ps3 and like now i have to worry about paying for it so what the f this looks like plans for zombies is it plans for zombies is it something else it's plans for zombies eh. oh i did it again i <laughs> The box highlighted was not the uh, game that it was on. That's on the the very front and center, but whatever. So how to survive? I have no idea what this game is. Huh. Interesting. Looks like survival horror e co-op. Hmm. Looks like an interesting game. Looks like a... Uh, wow, there's that one game I can't think of right now. I have it. <laughs> I have it on Steam. It's like Left 4 Dead, but State of Decay, yeah, it looked very State of Decay, but uh, different uh, viewpoint. It wasn't like third person, like true third person, like this one, it's more isometric. I guess it's just also not as, uh, I don't know, because it did seem very open world too, because it had like a, a fire in the other one, and it pushed had like a button. Anyway, but yeah, State of Decay, 50% 50, 50 off, 10 bucks. How to survive, 50% off. I think it was like 749. This looks like Dead Light. Or, um, not, not Dead Light, Dead Island. I'm sorry. Too many dead games. <laughs> dead Rising, Dead Nation, <laughs> Dead Light. Ugh. 
1199, Daylight Riptide. Are these on, on sale or what is this? It just gave me a list. Okay, this, okay. Well, this is a full game, Plants for Zombies. 374, Undead Nightmare Collection. I think I already own this. Nope, five bucks. Um, Zombies Apocalypse. Never Die Alone, 339. There's a lot of zombie games, man. Seriously. Ridiculous. 249. I mean, for me, it's all about Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead. Oh, well, if you count Walking Dead, but it's not about zombies in that game. So that's kind of like the context you're missing if you say Left 4 Dead. I mean, ah, I did it again. Walking Dead. See, it has dead in the name. Season Pass, uh, Black, blah, blah, blah. Call of Duty, um, blah, wow, I'm trying to think of the name without looking at it, but Black Ops 2, yeah, that. And then Dead Island, do you already have this? It was free with gold, I believe, yeah, so I have that. And unlike the future games with gold after June, <laughs> it's tied to my account, so yay! When I go back to silver, I can play it for free. Or not for free, but, you know, well, I didn't have to buy it, so I mean, I mean, it sticks, it stays with my account, so I don't have to worry about upping my subscription again. And Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, 20 bucks, 9 cents. So that's the gold exclusive stuff this week. Oh, look at that. Square Enix playing both sides of the fence. They also have their games on sale over here. Oh, and they have even more games on sale. Well, well played Square Enix and Microsoft. Five bucks for Just Cause 2. Blood Money is 6 59 Weird pricing numbers, whatever. Dungeon CH3. Uh, five bucks. Actually, now that I think about it, I didn't go back to the Square Enix thingy sell on the PSN deals, but... There weren't that many of them, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Thief the game is that on sale? Cause it was like twenty or thirty nine. Yeah, it was like forty on um, PSN, so it's still cheaper. And there's add-on stuff. I'm not gonna bother with the add-on stuff. Whatever. Oh, thirteen. What premium collection? Okay, that's weird. Cause okay, never mind. I thought that was Fang, not uh, some androgynous dude behind. I think whoever I forgot lightning insert. A sister's name, but that lady. <laughs> uh, this is the add-on. Yes, it gives you clothes. Okay, the game. This is the game. Thirty bucks. I believe it was thirty on PSN as well. So yeah. Okay, I'm tripping. See, it's hard to. It's kind of hard to tell because you, you see like the controller with like the little triangle thingy, and that's like an actual game, and like the little pluses and add-on. So I was like, okay, I can't tell. Yeah, these are both five bucks, I'm guessing. Yep. Or I guess well, like when the controller image is small like that, as opposed to like when you're actually browsing through the add-on section. Tomb Raider. Uh, really good game, by the way. Thirteen forty-nine. I enjoyed it. Day Six Human Revolution, another pretty good game. Okay, not pretty good, really good. I I thoroughly enjoyed this one. It's five bucks. I think I had this on three sixty actually. But for five, five, five bucks, dude, Deus Ex Human Revolution, I totally, all the way, like, all day every day, that game. It's not the director's cut, but dude, whatever. Um, Candle Lunch Dead Men, five bucks. If that's the first one, which I think it is, eh, it's okay. Battle Station Pacific, five bucks. Quantum Conundrum, five bucks. I liked Quantum Conundrum. I didn't finish it. I played, I didn't play that much of it either, but it, well, from what I did play, I did enjoy it. But yeah, that's, you know. And then there's some 99 cent avatars. Dang it! I, I was hoping that would take me to the screen that you can browse through stuff. Not launch the avatar editor. But it launched the avatar editor, so... My bad, dudes and ladies. Let's get back to the... <laughs> sales and specials. Oh! Gotta love the Xbox dashboard. So, so good. Um, I think the other two sections are just the same stuff that there's a, that there is every week where it's like the week, or not the weekly, but the uh, monthly dull stuff that's been discounted and then the stuff that's always price, uh, what should we call it, dude? Price, what should we call it, dude? <laughs> that is always discounted because it's been, because it's all old stuff, yeah, like Batman and Fallout 3 and whatnot, like the price drop section, that, price drops, that. They're in a state of... Oh, we have new stuff because it's May. Yay. Alright. 
So yeah, that's that's all old. Okay, this is all new. So Halo 4 is now 30 bucks. Set. Wait a minute. See, why can't they do it for like every page on this where it has like the price? Whatever. So I don't have to click on anything. But yeah, Halo 4 is 30 bucks. Assassin's Creed 4 for 40. Dark Siders 2 for 40. Even though it's here as well. They did that too, actually, on another thingy. You have like Borderlands 2 on like the big thingy, and you go to like another month and it's like one of the small thingies. But whatever. There's thumbnails. I'm sorry. I I say thingies a lot sometimes. Yes. Yeah, so there's Borderlands 2. Actually, it's on here twice. So, Borderlands 2, and then Borderlands 2, Bioshock Infinite, and then Bioshock Infinite is like the really large one. I'm sure Injustice is in here somewhere. I just gotta look harder. Yep, there you go. <laughs> so, you know, oh, you think all this, you know, real estate for the screen, the cells, there's so many, but, you know, there's a lot of double dipping going on in the background if you care to look. Also, Spartan Assault, that's bam, right here in the previous month. Anyways. So we have Spartan Assault for 10 and Tiger Woods 14 for 30. Does it show up as 40? I'm sure it does. Okay. Just, just Jabal Shagun. And everyday value. This is probably new too since it's a new month. So we'll see. Yeah, I believe so. Actually, this all looks... Well, this is the one that always stays the same. But the under 10 and under 5 do get swapped out. Defense Technica. Is it a tower defense game? Probably. I've never heard of it, so... 10 bucks you could look at screenshots, that would be great. Yeah, this is a tower defense game. <laughs> you see trains of things with health bars <laughs> and turrets. Yep. So, you know, if you're into that, I'm not. Ten bucks. Defense Technica. Uh, what is this game? Dust Force? I think I've heard of this game. I have not played it, though. Hmm. That is also ten dollars. Yu-Gi-Oh! Something something. Millennium Duels, ten bucks. Constant Z Whoa. I did not ask for a pop up, but whatever. Uh this is ten dollars. Oh I have five dollars in my account. I might pick up um there's something that was five bucks I was thinking of getting. But yeah, I can get two five dollar games, so yeah. Yay for me. <laughs> can spend the rest of my money and be done with Xbox Live Gold. Oh, I said it out loud. Thunder Carmrax, Borderlands 2, 3 bucks. Uh, candy Texture Pack, what, oh, this is Minecraft, I'm like, what is that? A dollar? Legend Pack, oh, this is Call of Duty, oh, Call of Duty, oh. Four bucks, another add-on for Minecraft, I'm guessing also a dollar. Yep, a dollar. And season one, episode three, The Wolf Among Us. Oh, the best. Oh, dude. Yeah. Telltale's calling it, dude. Five bucks. Five bucks. Man, just. Ah, oh, so good. Like, man. I'm, I'm not going to get into it, but yeah. I really appreciate the type of games that they make. They're just so nuanced in what they do and, like, the way that they've brought in the adventure game genre into, like, the modern age. But what am I picking up? I was thinking of getting. Was it Blood Money? It was something that was five bucks. But then I'm looking at these and I'm like, dude, I have all these, so maybe not. Probably Dungeon Siege. I did want to play that for is it five bucks. <laughs> but then I'm like, wait a minute, these other games I already have, so that's double dipping I don't need to do. Uh, I'm not going to buy Dungeon Siege. That's okay. Alright, that is... Oh, wait, it's, it might be in the, the gold section. I'm tripping. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Nope, none of these... <laughs> Whatever. Lots of uh, cheap games, both Houston and 360. If I had to choose a winner, well, I don't know. It's because, eh, actually, I'm gonna side with PS3 again. I mean, not again, but I, I usually do. Had some pretty good uh, Atlas deals going on on games that you cannot get on other platforms. Just saying. Whereas third-party games, you can get wherever, and you know, not only are they cheap on console, but they'll Come around on Steam, pretty cheap too. So yeah, but you know, yay, you know, new change, new changes to the policy for games. With, well, I guess not, not yet to the games with gold things. Then that means the ones I'm getting in the future I will lose. But whatever. Uh, but more discounts, you know, they're gonna have more. What was the phrasing? Right. De deals with gold. So there you go. Exclusive discounts. Deeper discounts. Cheap games. Who doesn't want cheap games? Anyway, 
That's for this week's yeah. That's it for this week's video. <laughs> Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share it with your friends. Or not. That's cool too. Whatever. And you know, until you see or hear from me again, thanks for watching, and I'm now signing off.